Production Possibilities Frontier is a model that shows the trade-off facing an economy producing only two goods given the available resources. We start from a basic concept of scarcity and choices. How are limited resources allocated to produce goods and services that satisfy the unlimited wants and needs of a society? Countries use resources to produce the outputs that society wants. Resources can include raw materials such as land and other natural resources from the physical environment, as well as human resources such as the number of workers available. Time is also a resource that must be allocated because there are a limited number of hours in the day. There is also a given set of technology available that a society can use to turn their resources into final products. In economics, technology is often referred to as the means of production and includes the quality of tools available, procedures, education, and knowledge of the society which is attempting to transform their resources into some final product. The final product is defined as the result of the production process. There are various types of efficiency discussed in an economics course, and the PPF is used to illustrate productive efficiency, which is a situation in which the maximum possible production of one good is achieved without harming production of another good. The goal of using PPFs is to find out if society's limited resources are used in the most efficient way. The PPF answers an important foundational question about how a country uses its resources. Given limited available resources and given the current available state of technology, how does an economy allocate their scarce resources in order to produce most efficiently? Economists love to imagine an individual stranded on a remote island when discussing trade-offs and eventually the benefits of trade. The remote island metaphor is a simplified version of an economy where our islander Jerry is stranded by himself in a one-person economy. For Jerry, he has to allocate a portion of his time to collecting food. He can either spend time catching fish, or he can spend time climbing trees to gather bananas. Because Jerry likes fish and fruit, he has to divide his time between both activities, but there is a trade-off at hand. Any time spent catching fish is time he cannot spend gathering bananas, and vice versa. Even though this island has lots of bananas and fish available, Jerry only has so much time, so Jerry is still operating under conditions of scarcity in this one-person island economy. In our example of a one-person economy, we have two goods being produced, fish and bananas. Given this information, we can construct a PPF that shows the amount of fish Jerry can catch dependent on the number of bananas he has gathered. Our PPF will show the trade-off between the two goods on a graph, and it will also show the maximum amount of fish that Jerry can catch given the number of bananas gathered. Our PPF will have a negative slope, which implies that the quantity of one good decreases as the quantity of the other good increases. We'll start with a straight line PPF, which implies that the trade-off for Jerry is constant. In the simplest model of our one-person economy, Jerry gives up the same amount of bananas every time he catches one more fish. Later, we think about what a PPF looks like if it becomes more and more costly to catch a fish or gather bananas. Each hour he spends catching fish limits the amount of time he can gather bananas. The PPF will show various bundles of final goods that make up Jerry's production combinations. In this case, our PPF will show all the possible combinations of fish and bananas that Jerry can produce given available resources, his time, and his technology, his tools. Thus, Jerry must make choices about how many resources he should spend on the production of either good. While the slope of the PPF contains information about the trade-offs Jerry faces, the endpoints also provide useful information. One endpoint of the PPF will show the maximum number of fish Jerry can catch if he allocates all of his time to catching fish and zero hours to gathering bananas. The other endpoint shows the maximum number of bananas that can be gathered if he spends all of his time gathering bananas and spends no time catching fish. While the endpoints show the extremes, if Jerry wants to consume both goods each day, he can't spend all his time at the endpoints. The PPF shows all the possible production options, but it can also be used to show if a society is operating efficiently. Every combination of points that lie on or inside of Jerry's production possibility frontier is possible. However, not all of the points are efficient. One issue that arises for Jerry is that the production points inside the frontier are not an efficient use of Jerry's time because he isn't using all of his resources, in this case, his time. If Jerry gathers only a few bananas and a few fish, he could spend more time catching fish in order to reach an efficient level of output. 
He could also spend time collecting bananas, but the key reason we say he's inefficient is he isn't using all of his time. Any production point along the frontier is both possible and efficient. A society may prefer one point over the other along a PPF based on what it values as important. This type of efficiency is known as allocative efficiency, but the PPF alone can't tell us this. It can only show us what is productively efficient. In our example about Jerry stranded on his island, the production points along the PPF maximize Jerry's use of his resources, but it can't tell us anything about his preferences. By producing on the frontier, he is catching the most fish possible given the amount of bananas he has gathered. All production points outside of Jerry's PPF are desirable because Jerry would like to have more of both goods, but this is not possible right now. One of the major assumptions is that Jerry's technology, his tools in this case, are fixed and cannot be changed. Given his available resources and technology, Jerry is constrained in his ability to catch fish and gather bananas, hence why we keep calling the line a production possibility frontier. It shows the best Jerry can do given his current situation. Even though Jerry would like to produce outside his frontier, the best he can do is produce at a point on his frontier. If Jerry develops better tools or finds more time he can devote to gathering, that may shift his PPF outward.